We're on the Mishnah on Sadik Tes Amid Beis. The Mishnah on Sadik Tes Amid Beis. Let's give you a little preview. We're dealing with the first case. Is, the first case is an easy case. The tree, we had this before. It's a tree that was planted. It is 10 amas high. It's surrounded. It was in three tfachim. You don't say Gideon Baikin Ba. It has the din of a Rishus Hayachid. It has the din of a Rishus Hayachid. However, contrary to a, a classic Rishus Hayachid, which you're able to carry throughout, we're going to see here you're limited to based on science, similar to a Karfif that was not Hook of Ladira. A second case we'll see is that um, you have a tree. We know you're not allowed to be Mishamish as the Rabbana, and you can't go ahead and be Mishamish with a tree on Shabbos. Any root that's within three tfachim of the ground is considered part of the ground. If it's above three tfachim, then it's considered part of the tree. With that in mind, let's begin. Elon show you mesech ala aretz, an Elon that is literally covering the, like schach, covering the aretz. In a nof will go in arch lush tfachim. If the nof does not go ahead and 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 hang lower, higher than three tfachim, the talton tachta, you're able to carry underneath it on Shabbos, it's considered like a machitza. And therefore, it's Rishos Sayachid. Second case in the Mishnah, Shrasha of Gavayim Mina Aretz, the roots that are higher than three Tvachim, the Gimel Tvachim, Vayeshev Aleyev, don't sit on them because it's the same as sitting on a tree. Anything lower three Tvachim will consider part of the ground, then you would be able to sit on it. Regarding the first din of the Mishnah, we said that it's surrounded, and within three Tvachim, it's considered Rishos Sayachid, and you can carry underneath it. I'm Rav Huna, Rav Yeshua. You can't carry more than 5,000 square amas. In other words, it has the din of a karfif that we met in the, of, we've mentioned quite a few times in Sechta, a karfif, shleichukif ledira. Now, in this case, the Gemara asked previously, this wasn't hukif ledira. We said that no, was planted in the So why are you limited by society? I Any any place that's hukif ledira, you, you, you have the whole expanse of the of the mechitzis. My timer, why are you limited to uh, the purpose of this tree is not for underneath the tree, it's that you can watch what's on, what's outside the tree. In other words, you're a shimer of the field. It gets hot. You go in there. But the purpose of the covering the tree area is not to live underneath the tree. The purpose of the tree area is that you can see outside of the tree, to go ahead and use outside of the tree. And concludes the Gemara of a whole Dira she Tashmishel la Avir. Any Tashmishel, any uses that is the Tashmish is to the purpose of an Avir of, of outside, Aimit Tatlumbo Yesam Beis Asayim. You cannot carry more than Beis Asayim. Okay, we had that, that Allah before. We said Shrush of Gavayim Min Aretz. So let's go ahead and, 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 and look and take a, a better gander at this picture. Okay? We, You have over here, you have this is below three, this is above three, and this is coming within three. So over here, everyone agrees it's part of the ground. Over here, everyone agrees it's part it's part of the tree, and you can't you can't be mishamish it. What about if this, the base, it's below three, but it comes mikoy after three, it's coming. From above, it's coming from the tree above. Do we say the base has the din of an aleph and has the din of a tree, or do we say the base has the din of this part and it's considered uh, part of the ground? That's going to be a machloikis tanoyim between uh, amaroyim between Rav Sheshes and and Rava. Says the Gemara, itmar shrashashay ilan aboyim melmaila mishleisha, the roots of a tree that descend from above three. Again, that's from the, the aleph coming down to the base, it descends down. The touch shleisha. Rabba Amar Mutdul Ishtamish Ben says, Rabba, you can go ahead and use the base because it's considered part of the ground. It's considered since even though it comes from above three, it's considered three. If it's three, it's considered part of the ground, and there's no isha shvus three mishamish within on Shabbos. Conversely, Rav Sheshes Amar Asa Ishtamish Ben. Rav Sheshes says you cannot. Rabba Amar Mutl Ishtamish Behen the Chol Pachas Mikimul the Ara Arahi. Anything that physically is less than three is considered part of the ground. 
Some of the says no. The Shesha Zama also the Shamish Behem, the Kivin the Mikoyach Issa Kasi, since it comes Mikoyach the Issa, it's coming from an area above three Isurim. Why? Okay, the Damu the Kemish Nunisa, okay, the Solik Lilo Isurin, the Nachla Tai Shari, the Sudan and Plukta. Okay, we can compare it to the following guys. We can compare it to this case. The dummy Kimi Mishunisa, like has teeth. You see, it has like teeth, like crags on a rock. So now, this sleek Eloi, this Aleph, clearly everyone holds his Asa. The Nacht and the Tutoi, the base, everyone holds what it is Mutta. The Gimel is the Studen over here. Okay, the Gimel is the Studen. So therefore, this is Rav Sheshis is dead. The Kimi Mikoyakisa Kasi Asun, the dummy Kimi Nishanisa. The sulkin lay above three asurin. The nachtin l'tutoy that's below three bays shari. The tzadin this the tzadin plucked at the rabbi Rav Sheshis. It's a machlokes between rabbi and Rav Sheshis. Like rabbi it would be muta, and like Rav Sheshis it would be asa. The same thing. Okay, some more interesting pictures. The chain anigra, an anigra guys, is an elon that's in a ditch. Now look. In the ditch, it's coming with 10 from below, but what's above is three. So question, do we go to the bottom and consider it part of 10, right? And we consider it part of the ground, or do we consider this area over here? So the chain anigra, the case of an anigra, says Rashi, Elon an Elon that comes out of a ditch, an irrigation ditch, that's, that's dug, for the purpose of transporting water to the fields, we should see the elon shall tzad gidu be hechritz the chdasim be gidu dav. The imbol limdo a mitzdad in shemitach hanagar harihu gevoya gimel. If you go ahead and count from here, it's gimel. For yosef, the imbol limdo a mitzdad dav ashnayim shem gidu be hechritz ulamayla in gevoya gimel. So if you start from here, guys, in other words, view this as is this thing coming mikoyach the 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 bottom coming from the craft that up above Gimel or not? In Gimel, Gimel. The Rabbi, the Moed, did how he do them. Shari, the Chalpachas mi Gimel la'ara ke'ara. This over here, anything that's above, since this is less than three, above the level. Look, guys, look level to the bank. Anything that's above is three. Therefore, it's mutter according to Rabbi. And and and, and Rosh Hashanah may anchor Moed. You can come from the bottom. It's high gimel So since the bottom is high, it's higher than gimel, including this, it would be asa. So they're going to include this, counting up, and therefore Rav is going to be asa, and according to Rabbah, it would be mutter. Now they have the same shaila, guys, the same shaila by Karen Zavius, right over here. You have a Karen Zavius, going to count, the, do you count from below, like Rav Sheshis, or do you count from the ledge over here, like Rav, like Rabbo. The King Karen the Habe La Abaya. Now Abaya, Abaya had Landau Shul. Guys, remember Landau Shul that had the tree growing in the middle of it? There was a tree in the middle of Landau Shul when they burnt down across the street. So here you have a tree growing over here. Question Can you go ahead and use this? Is this considered part of the tree or is it considered part of the ground? But have a solid be pume, it came through he pume the skylight. Us the commander of Yosef, they came in front, in front of Rabbi Yosef. The Shari Lay Rabbi Yosef said it's permitted. Amra Vachabar Tahlifa, the Shari Lucha Kiraba, Shari Lucha. The that that you might have to use is like Rabba, because you didn't consider the tree. And this is Kami Mikhaya something, right? Peshita, some other tame my feel of Shesha space of Kamala Dummy. Guys, I can view the houses full up. Look, I can view the houses totally full. And even if Sheshes will be moide, you only start counting from here. Kamashmulan, you will establish your pockets with Gimel, son of Wagag. Kamashmulan, that we don't have view the houses full. And Sheshes would say it's Asa. Tran. Shroshev Gavayim and Aretz Gil Tfachim. Picture 38. You have Shroshev that's higher than three Tfachim. La Yeshev Aleyim. You can't sit on it. 
Hey, dummy. Eat like Hadra. If it doesn't turn back to the, Amisha says, if it doesn't turn back to the ground, meaning it's level like this, hello, right? It's pshita. Guys, if, if it's level like this, what's the Kiddush to tell me that what well, that you can sit on it? So it must be that it's turning back to the ground. Oh, I forgot the Hadra Kipi, that it turns back to the ground. So it must be speaking a scenario that looks like this. Must be speaking about a scenario where it was above three and then it turned back to the ground. And we said that right, it's asa. So the chayret's a raya to Rav Sheshes. Loi, lo'olam deloi hadra kipi. It's not hadra kipi and it's speaking where it was level. It was speaking where, in fact, it was, it was level. The ho kamash one. Afagav did see the yechet shavel oritz. Yeah. Over here, under the three, clearly it's asa. Over here, it's not above three. It's, why don't I sit, say, if I sit on over here, I'll say this is sitting on the ground, as opposed to here, where I'm sitting on the tree. Kamash Malon, now we don't say, if you sit over here, it's like you're sitting on the ground. Kamash Malon will view it what? as if you're sitting in the tree. Kamash Malon will view it as what? if you're sitting in the tree. Guys, good so far? Straightforward, right? Straight chat. That was the case, either it's higher than three or you have a, a, a hollow that cavity below of three ketvachim. Even though that one side is guys is level, you should sit on it. If you shein oilim be ilan, you can't climb on a tree. Vein tolim be ilan, you can't hang on a tree. Vein nishanim be ilan, you can't you can't lean on a tree. Not only that, you shouldn't even go up into the tree while it's still Friday. And sit it all day cool up. It doesn't make a difference if it's a tree. It doesn't make a difference if it's an animal. If it's a pit, uh, different types of water cisterns, together were a fence. You can climb in, you can climb out. I feel the hay I'm even there at 100 I'm steep, and don't worry. Now, Tanachada, we learned the morning, Allah Mutaliere. If you go up the tree, it's Mutter to come down. Tanachada, Asalere. And the other one says, it's Asal to come down. So, what is it? Guys, a Vestira. One says you could go up, and what goes up comes down. One says what goes up doesn't come down. Like Hasha, Kami Bajoin. If you went up during the day, then it's Mutter to come down on Shabbos. Kami Shacha if you went up on Shabbos, we won't let, won't let you come down. We'll cancel you. We'll find you and say, since you went up on Shabbos, you're stuck. It's both speaking after Shabbos. So why is it mutter to come down? Question. Did you go up to it? If you went up to we'll let you come down. If you went up in Mezid, we will not let you come down. It's both speaking to and here we're speaking where it will cancel you, Shoige got to Mezid, Kamifuki. Masava can see that you cancel and therefore you got to stay up. Or Masava can see that you can come down. Right? And Masava can see that you can come down. Now there's a, to understand the next Gemara, there's a, requires certain knowledge of Kachim, which I'll give you right now. It's not, not difficult at all. And we'll see Bezra Hashem. Um, the, there are different types of Messina's dam for a carbon. In order for a carbon to be kasha, you have to do what's called avoid the saddam. You have to shech the animal. You have to receive the animal, the blood in a kli. You have to bring it to the Mizbeach. And then you have to do zrika. Now, depending on the animal, there's different zrika. So, for example, for an oila, for an asham, for a shlamim, below the red line, you would go ahead and spritz on two of the corners, which we call shtayim shein arba. If it's a, a chatas, you go above the red line, you go at the top, and you put on all four corners. If it's a pesach, bechor, or maisa behema, you have one spritzing. So here's the shaila. What happens if you get a spritz of one chattis and another chattis? Well, no problem. You just do the, 
you spritz the chattas, the, the daubing of the chattas. If you have a bechor and a bechor, one and one, you do the same thing. What happens if a four gets mixed with a one? What happens if a four gets, in fact, gets mixed with a one? What's the shaila? Regarding the one, you're adding on, right? Regarding the one, you're over on bal toisif because you only need one. If you only do one, then vis-a-vis the four, you're over about tigra, you're diminishing, right? So what do you do in a scenario where you get a one mixed with a four? Do you do one, despite the fact you're detracting, or do you do a four, despite the fact you're adding? And this is machloikas between Rebbe Eliezer and Rebbe Yeshua. This is machloikas between Rebbe Eliezer and, and Yeshua. Okay? Let's see the machloikas and the, and the application to us. Hanitonim b'matona achas, an animal that is given one nesina, a bachar, shenis arvu b'nisonim b'matona achas, a bachar, yinos the matona achas, you put one and you got matan dalad, matan dalad, a chatas with a chatas, I'm going with Rashi's pshat, yinos the b'matan dalad, matan arba b'matan achas, now we have machlekes. Rebbe Liezo Aimer, yinos the b'matan dalad, you put four, despite the fact you're adding three to the one. Rabbi Yeshua, I mean, you're not to matan achas, despite the fact you're subtracting from the four. Amalai Rebbe Eliezer. How are you over al tigra? By putting less, you're being over al tigra. Amalai Rebbe Yeshua, how are you over al taisif? You're over on al taisif. Now, there's a very interesting Rashi over here. I'd like to share with you. Let's do the Rashi. Yinas to matan arba. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven lines up. Rabbi Eliezer says, go ahead and put a four. Dikasavar kum asay, to perform a mitzvah asay, mitzvah adif. Now, afag, meaning, you're, if you do one, you're not doing the mitzvah asay of a chatos. So by going ahead and doing four, you're doing that. Now, afagav, the Baha'i mitzvah, ikat saraveira. Even though with this four, there's an aveira of baltaisif, the over abachar of baltaisif. Nonetheless, Asi asay the chatos tichsev v'nasan al karnois v'dochi loy soisif the bechor. We have a rule in Shas, guys. Asay dochalos asay. You can wear midar raisa sits is from shatness because the mitzvah asay of gedilin paselacha is doicha the loy asay loy silver shatness. So over here too, the mitzvah asay of performing the mitzvah of of of. Uh, of chatos is doicha the bal tigra aman on the on the bechor. Rabbi Yeshua Aimer, let's continue with Rashi. Rabbi Yeshua Aimer, the matana achas. No, you only do one. Ah, you are you by in bal tigra nach b'shoyz. Kim in the kaimelon kol anitonem al mizbeach achitzoin shenitna be matana achas keeper pirish. If you you're supposed to bring four, but if you bring one, you're yotza. Any blood offering on the Mizbech HaChitzayim, Rashi's Metuyek, the Mizbech HaPnimi, the blood you put on the golden Mizbech is a different halacha. That is Ma'akeh. But over here, the fight of smack, you're going to be missing three. My one works. So I'm Yoytza B'Dieve, the Chatos, and Lichat Chila, the Wat, the Bechar. I'm doing both. And Pashtus, I didn't do an Avera. Hachad Efsha, because you'd be over on Bal Toysef, some Kinen Allah, I'm saying on that bidi ever dicker one. I feel the chat chila. For we have read on about Tyson rather than be over about Tyson. The image of Baltigre the Chatos, Kida Oma Taima, Mutu Shiak about Tigre Meelov. It's better to be over about Tigre Meelov. Should you say, Ben Oiker, that you're sitting down and not doing Hala be a dime in Baba Baltasef? Should you be a dime? In other words, you're there's two two averis over here. If I if I go ahead and I do four, I'm over on bal toisev on the bechor. If I only do one, I'm over on bal tigra of the detracting from the chatos. Better to go ahead and be over an avera with sheva al pase sit and don't do, rather than actively doing the avera by adding on more to the bechor. The Chachamim can go ahead and tell you, don't blow Shoifer on what? On Rosh Hashanah. Sit back. Don't. The Chachamim, have, how can the Chachamim have the power to tell you not to do a mitzvah? 
Shevi al don't do it. Don't do the three extra ones for the Bukhar. I am detracting from the Chatos. That Memele is happening. But if I would do the Chatos, I'd be actively being wiping over on Baltaisif. That's the that's the stodom over here of the Machloikis. I say the Chalosa say of Rebbe Eliezer and Sheval Tasei of Rebbe Yeshua. Let's see it in the Gemara. So here's the conversation. Again, Rebbe Yeshua Rebbe Eliezer says four. Rebbe Yeshua says one. Asam Boydam Rebbe Yeshua Kishenites when you go ahead and and you put four Avat Al Bal Taisif Vasisa Maisa Biyotcha and what's the key? Now you understand it. And you're doing an action with your hands rather than sitting around and not doing. If you see some asecha by going and spritzing those extra three, kishaloy nesata avart al bal tigra, right? V'loy asem I should be a decha. But if you don't put the four, the three extra for the chatas, you see, you you are you are you are over bal tigra, but you didn't do a ma'isa. The rebel yes now the rebel yes v'amah hasam kum masay adif. Rabbi Lezu says over there, better to go ahead and calm down. Now, guys, so what's the application? Only, only the Gemara can sushtel putting blood of Kachim to getting stuck in the tree on Shabbos. <laughs> only, only the Gemara can do this, right? So, Kishmak, guys, says Rabbi Lezu, be active, go ahead, do it. So, Hasam Kum Asayadif, Hachanami Yarid, here too, go down. Rabbi Yeshua, the Amma, are you doing Naveira? They're also you doing Naveira. Rabbi Yeshua, the Amma Hasam, Sheva, Al-Tasayad, that sit around and don't add the three extra spritzings. Hachanami, by what? By stick, being in the tree, La Yorad. So therefore, the Machloik is when you come down or not, is Tully. Let Eliezer, you calm down. Are you doing Naveira? He let you in ahead by Bachar and go ahead and add three spritzings. I, Rabbi Yeshua, as Rabbi Yeshua say, don't hear the spritzings. So therefore, don't come down. Stay in the state. Spend an animation. So Lays, where's the sin, Lays, where's the sin of sitting up in the tree on Shabbos? Where's the, uh, the one? Where's the essay of having to get off a tree? And you do a mitzvah. Very good, Baruch. You're not doing a mitzvah. Sit in the tree. Rabbi Lezer would say, stay in the tree. Vinami, or, or else. Another way to slug up. They tell me it's not at Sushtel between Kachim and Shabbos. I can look at Rabbi Shua Hasam, Sheva Tasi Yadif, Ella Amid Beis, the Loi Ka'avi Yisura. There's no Issa sitting in the tree. Amal Hachad, the Ka'avi Yisura, by going ahead actively and spritzing. Achanami, no, Loi Ka'avi Yisura, excuse me. Over there, by, by Kachim. He says, Shevi al Tase, you're not being over in Avera. Mashenkin over here, if you go ahead and you sit in the tree, you'll be over in Avera. Maybe you would say to come down. Because the whole time you're in the tree, you're doing an Avera, you're being Mishtamish Milan. In other words, by Kachim, don't spritz. So you're not doing a mitzvah, but you're not doing an Avera. Over there, by not, by, not, by not coming down, you're doing an Avera. Maybe Rabbi Shu would say, come down. No tzushkel between what? Shabbos and Machlekes Tanoim by Kodesh. Kishmak? Tani Chada. Echad Elon Lach, whether the Elon is moist. For Echad Elon Yavesh, or the Elon is Yavesh, you can't go ahead and sit in it, right? You can't be Mishamish for Elon. The Tanya Yidach, the Medim and Mamurim, Menzir Asor, the Lach. I will be Yavesh Mutter. For Yavesh, it would be Mutter. Amrav Yehuda, like Hasha, how do you answer up? You're telling me over here that what? That Yavesh is, is what? Is, is uh, Yavesh is Asa. And here you say it's Muta. Kam Gazu Machlif. Where is it Asa? That's when it's going to regenerate. Kam Bishin Gazu Machlif. And when's it Muta? When it won't regenerate. It's good and tight. Then the Gemara, you're telling me that it's going to regenerate and you're calling it Yavesh? Gazu Machlif, it's going to regenerate the trunk. Yavish karisle, you call it Yavish. When you have a Yavish tree, it's a Yavish tree. El Loi Kasha, Kambi Yamosa Chama, Kambi Yamosa Gishamim. In the Mosech, in the Chama, the Yavish is Mutter. There's no Marasayan. Clearly, you see that the tree is not a tree, it's dead. 
therefore it's not a problem. The most like a shaman where you can't, most like a shaman, there's no leaves on the tree, so you can't discern between a live tree and a dead tree, then it's awesome. Let's say the pears fall off, and if the pears fall off, right, you won't see the difference between it and the and the and the elon that's fresh. And for them, I'd look at pears. There's no pears. Furthermore, because not tree can see it, it, the twigs will fall down. It says we big dude. It's a beer. It's a beer tree. There's no twigs. No, no twigs. In is really so. Raviklo la apastia. But also the gedudah, you also the bare tree. Rav, so why why lechayr should be also like it's dead? And throw a rav bicker matzah begadav together. Rav found that they were going ahead and be mekel and chol shabbos there before he was what he made together. We found rav doing this many times. We found it in in bas v'cholov that we found a, the woman we asking for for recipes how to cook a kachal. We had it earlier in this mesechta. I don't recall where, but we different did have it in this mesechta that rav bicker about matzah. So he found, the, he found the he found the breach in the action, and he wanted to go ahead and and and, and act. Amar Rami Bar Abba, Amar Rav Asi, lo asa lo adam she halich al gabi asavim b'shabes. Can't walk on grass on Shabbos. Grass lav dafka grass. It means like vegetation. We're scared you're going to detach it. We're scared of toilish. Mishum shenemar the otz biraglayim chayta. Someone who runs with his feet, he's a sinner. How do you reconcile the, 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 the contradiction like Asha? It's Asr if it's moist. It's Yvashim, then what? It's Mutta. Rashi says Lachim. Asr Davi Tolish Yvashim Kitluchim Dami. Yeah, Rashi is very Geschmack. Fellas, what's easier to detach? Dried out twigs, dried out vegetation, or loose? Or, or live? The answer is loose. Loose is so easy, it's considered detached already. Like, I mean, kolo oimid lictsaras kikatsad nami, right? Once the stuff, once the stuff gets ripe, Rebbe Bishamai says, anything that's standing to be cut will view as cut. So over here also, since it's so easy to disattach, we'll view it as disattached already. Therefore, you will not be, won't be, be mechal shabbos. Pibo yaseima, hova belachim, they're both moist. Bloi kasha, kambi mos achama. And the Yimosa Cham Il Biyasa, right? And Kam Yimosa Kashamim in the in the winter. In the winter. Bibai say Mahova bin Mesa Kham of Lakasha, Hud the Sai Mamayne, he has shoes on and it's mutta, hud lesa mimayne, it's asa. If he doesn't have shoes on, it's his toes are gonna get caught, caught in the in the stuff and pull it out. Bibai say Mahaba Hud the Sai Ma'ami, he he has shoes on, the Lakasha. They have spikes on it, the shoes. They have caps on it. The little mountain climber shoes, like the little spikes in them. Right? So therefore, if it has oitzim, it's also. If it doesn't, it's mutter. Bibay Seima, another terrace. How about this? They both have spikes. How the Ishlay Srihi. Then it has what? The grass is long. When it's long, it's easier for the spikes to get cut, caught, and it's, it's also. How the Leslie Sarfa does not have long grass. And guys, in case you're wondering, since we pass in Davish Shem Iskav and his mother, you're good. Davish Shem Iskav and you're good. Rabbi, didn't I have a takana that you couldn't wear spiked shoes on Shabbos? Hobnail shoes, hobnails. Hobnails, they're special hobnails for the, because of the because of what happened in the, in the in the cave. Because of what happened in the cave. Yeah, okay. Okay, now we digress for, we digress a little, I got it to, to the end of the, end of the, end of the page. Hey guys, you, you don't look so sad. Okay, anyway. Also, uh, uh, you get the young ones out of the room, it's not for the ears. Also, a person to it's a, it's a, to force a, a person for a wife for Tashmish. Shneimar vo'otzpe raglayim choyte. Raglayim is a euphemism for for, for relations. Vamir b'shuv and levi kol akoyfi yishlo l'dvar mitzvah have laid bonim shenu muganim. If you force your wife in by mitzvah, you'll have children that are not proper. Am Ravika bar Chinnah Mikro. It says gambolay. Okay, now there's a pasuk over here, a long pasuk. Let me get to the pasuk. Pasuk in uh, Mishlei. 
you have a, a nice blue Gemara, it should be written on the side of your Gemara. It says, Gam, where is this person? Yeah. I don't have it. I have, I have an old Gemara. So I'll have to paraphrase. It says, Gam below das nefesh le toiv. Right. Also, uh, without without das nefesh, it's not good. Hani na miyochi, gam below das nefesh le toiv. It's referring to what? Uh, asking your wife, forcing your wife. Zeh koi fi ish le devar mitzvah. And then the end of the post says, "V'atzbrag leim choy." There's a boil b'shoyna. He repeats it. In is really so repetition is no good. V'amar Rava, a right salas is called one of scharim yivol yishana. You want to make sure all your children are males. You you double up. Does not know like kasha kan ledas kan shloy ledas ledas. You'll have bottom who are uh, boys shloy ledas. You won't. Amar Shmuel Nachman Yachnan, right? Says says Shmuel Ben Nachmani. In the name of 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 Rabbi Yechonon, Rosh Hashanah says in the name of Rabbi Yechonon, Kolisha shetevas bailu dvar mitzvah. Any woman who asks her husband, Avle bonim shafilu b'dorish shal Moshe lo yehoyu k'mayson, that they'll be greater than the people in the generation of Moshe. Where do you see that? Filu b'dorish shal Moshe k'siv. It says, Havu lochem anoshim chachamim unevoinim biyidum shetechem. You have people that are wise and understanding, and they know. K'siv. It also says. As Rashi Shiftechem and Nashim Chachamim v'Yiduim, Moshe was able to find people who were what, who were Chachamim. He was find, able to find people who v'Yiduim were known. The Ilan Nevoinim loy Ashkech. So Hashem told him to take it, but he couldn't find people who were together Nevoinim. That was Bimei Moshe. The Ilu Gabe Leik Siv, a Teitz Leilik Rosloi, a Toim Reilai Tavai Kisar Shaticha. Leia went out. Remember the Maisa. That you had Leah went ahead. Uh, Ruvain found the Pashas Vayetz, they found Dudoyim. Dudoyim was supposed to be some type of uh, fertility drug. And and Rachel was Tevea, and, and in lieu of the Dudoyim, Leah was with Yaakov that night. And Leah, Vatete, she went out and she asked for Yaakov. And as a result, who was born? Uksiv, Ubene Yisach. It says in 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 they they know how to bina lush in the vayim. So you see that what it applies to right that people you sacha. This is way after Moshe Rabbeinu, and nonetheless what they were. So how can you say that what right? you see that she was Taveya, her husband. And and as a result, she had children that were what that were outstanding. Right? So therefore, it's a little interesting that you said that woman should be tevea and here tevea. By the way, there's a nice alshech on this pasuk, guys. One of the reasons we go ahead and f- spread flowers in shul and shvuas is as a result of the dudoy in the flowers that the child born was Yisacha, and Yisacha was the one who kabbled the old Torah. So Shvuas, when we got the Torah, we spread flowers and shul as a remis to what? To Yisachar that was born as a result. It's a beautiful alsha. Right, Rose is like, you write it down to Shvuas edition. Now, in is it really so that it's good for a woman to ask her husband? From Rav Yitzhak Rav Dimi, Esa Kholes Neskala Chava, Chala was cursed 10 times. It's raising children. That's giving birth. That's uh, a child of, of, of pregnancy. And that's the tzar of pregnancy. That's of tell the body is is what is the is the is the difficulty in giving birth. Then it says, well, you shake the shukasek, you want your husband. And she wants her husband, Bishashi it's the derek when he goes away. However, she yes, she wants it but doesn't ask for it. But you should have a pet. And so me the type of notion. So the khari you see how can you bring a riot from Leah that Leah asked for it, and, and, and as a result, she had Yisachar. You see, it's not such a good thing. 
When we speak about it, it's when a woman, she acts in a way to her husband that will make him more conducive. Hani Fred Gemara, you said there's 10 clothes. Hani Sheva Havayan, there's only seven. And the Gemara, Kiyosar of Dimi Omar, Atufa Ka'avel, she wraps herself up like an, an Avel, like a mourner, right? She's embarrassed to go out with her head on COVID. She's cut off from what? All people, right? And she's, she's considered like Chavosh. And the Gemara is going to say she can't marry twice. On menud mikoladam, my menud mikoladam. He lay me mishon the isel laichud. It's also to have yichud with a man. He would not be also laichud. The man is also it's also for yichud. Ella the sur le betray. A woman can't have two husbands. The masdis and tana megadel seya. The three things that the three you need to go ahead and give three more colors than the seven. Megadel seya kilalis. She grows her hair like like the demon lilis. The yashves umeshtenes mayan kebehema. She sits and urinates like an animal. And that's this uh, Carla Baila, she becomes a pillow for her husband, Shas Tashmash. The Idah of Dimi, why didn't include those three things? A Shvachula, it's a Shvach to the Isha, these three things. Dumb Rabbi, a Maidik Siv, the Multaina, me behemais, Eretz, whom I offer Shemayim Gachakmenu. So that means you learn from the animals and, and make come wise from the birds of the sky. Malpeno, me behemais, is Zupreda. You learn from the, the the female mule that it, it's it, when it urinates in such a manner. The tarnagol, the, the rooster first appeases it and then has relations with the head. We will learn the modesty from a from a, a cat. The cat always covers its feces. I found the, the the Brooklyn cats stopped doing that. They've been affected by like Noyach. They were infected by the time. The Gezel Minamala, ants, they go ahead and put st- stuff away for the winter, but they don't take each other's stuff. The Arroyas, you know, Yaina is loyal to what? To its bird. Right? Yaina is loyal to its mate. Their Acheres Mitarnagoil is Shemafayas Rachach Boyle. First it appeases its, 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 its chicken, its head, and then its boil. My mafia slayer, how does a rooster appease its 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 hen? Some of you know a rav, hachi kamale. This is what the rooster says to the hen. So Nino Lech Zige, I'll buy you a coat, the Mati Loch Ad Karek that reaches your feet. The boss Achi Amala and the FD Lisbon says, the Shamte Le Carbolosa, the Hu Tarnagola, may I lose my 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 that's that's the cold at the top, the crest. He is lay if I have money to buy you a coat, but doesn't buy it for you. Okay, very, very weird, weird, uh, I don't know chicken talk, but something like that.